Hello again, Guardians, it's Cortanium, and today we're glitching right outside of the Tree of Probability strike in Destiny 2. And so unfortunately, since the strike is so weirdly placed out, we can't actually glitch out outside of all of it at one time, but we can glitch out of a very specific area that I'm looking forward to. And so now that we have the season of the dawn, we can pull our spear out on Mercury and continue up until you get to this part of the strike, of the Tree of Probability strike, and just head across this bridge. Now I wish we could glitch out of this area. I've explored a little bit of it, but I cannot find any glitch outside of this area right now without there being some kind of turn back barrier. And so unfortunately, all what we're gonna do is we're gonna glitch outside of the next area over the Atlas Grove. And this glitch is actually really super duper cool. What you wanna do is you wanna stay on the second floor this entire time and sparrow all the way down and just make sure you are on the second floor for this glitch. That is extremely important. Otherwise, you need to get yourself to the second floor and we're gonna be glitching out of all of this. And so we're gonna be right down there actually at the bottom of this entire place. We're gonna be standing on the ocean down there and it's not really ocean, it's just one big plane and some green effects on it but it looks like an ocean to us and so we're gonna go stand on it and so all you want to do for this glitch is just head back and in the top left of the second level you just want to hop up these rocks and then get to the very very top left and there's just a big hole in the map right here and so just top left hole in the map and you're outside of the map already it was that simple and so just hop forward and try not to get blinded by this light here there's a lot of it and it's gonna mess you up a lot and you want to just keep track of this wall tour right here. What you want to do is you just want to kind of hop down it a little bit, but not too much. You just want to hop down it a little bit so we can get past the death barrier that's actually immediately below us. But don't hop down it too much or else you will experience a turn back barrier, which would kill you in four seconds. And so you got to do this kind of precise, but if you do it right, you should get down there and it will be awesome because you're now outside the map and we're one step to getting on that ocean floor. We can already see the ocean effects or um, the uh, the Vex uh, milk effects, I believe, actually on the bottom of the floor here. And so just take out your Sparrow and just get ourselves to the part that we actually want to go to. We want to get inside of the Vex milk ocean down here. And so we're just going to have to go all the way down and all the way down and all the way down and keep on Sparrowing until we get to a random, random door. I just like to stick my character against the side of this. Of course, you can use up the entire Sparrow lane space to pull this off. But here we are. This is a door. And at the very end, it looks like we're just going to be blocked off, but look, it's fake, and we can pass through, and now we are at the bottom of where I said we're going to go. We're at the bottom of the ocean now, and so there's our bridge right over there. That's where we came from, but now we've bypassed a bunch of death barrier. We've bypassed uh, everything just to get down here, and so actually down here is pretty amazing. We're actually at the bottom of the map. Now, a lot of this stuff I'm bypassing right now is fake, but I, I don't know if it's, it's fake or not, but a lot of it is. And so you're going to need your ricochet rounds or just walk through it to check out if it's real or fake or not. You see, right up there is where we came from, and there's a bunch of cool stuff. Like, the underside of some of this stuff is just completely invisible, and we got some cool <laughs> Vex milk and just some columns going up. And now watch out, because, again, a lot of this stuff is invisible, but... Actually, a lot of it too is also real, and so I really recommend your ricochet rounds when you are down here, Guardian, because you will actually need to find out what's real or not, what you can hop on or not, what you can mess around with is all decided by what is actually, you know, actually able to be hit by your Guardian. And so, actually, right over here, I want to show you guys something cool, not the turn back barrier, but this actual Vex milk, but it's like a green Vex milk uh, over on the wall here. You see, it's just flowing up the wall, but it looks like a different different kind because it's all green and stuff and we can get all the way over there and kind of look at it. it's probably the most trippy effect you'll see in destiny 2 and there's also tons of other stuff you can do at the bottom of the ocean map here and you can also go along the middle side here and we can yeah, visit you know pretty much this entire area the entire area that you're able to visit on top you can pretty much span that entire area on the bottom of the map here i mean we have like a nice little waterfall over to my right. We have turn back barriers, unfortunately, on both sides. So you can't actually go that far on either side. There's, it's going to turn you back. But there is a bunch of cool stuff down here still. There's a bunch of stuff that you can mess with. There's an, a copy of our bridge over there, but it seems to be fully built. I like how Bungie put that much work into this game. We have Vex waterfalls, though, falling down. And it looks so real. But, uh, <laughs> yep, some of this stuff is just completely fake in this game. And, uh... So that's very unfortunate, but you can be underneath the waterfall for whatever reason you want to be down here. There's a bunch of rocks that you could hop on, 
And uh, these rocks can actually get you on top of this rotating spinning thing you see on my left side over there. Now, <laughs> we can actually hop on top of this big circle in the air right here and uh, because it's completely solid. And you can hop on top and have your guardian just go up it just all the way. And so that's a very cool thing you do. You see, it's completely solid. And so we can just hop on top of it and make sure you got to check what's solid around you so you know where you can launch yourself from. And so just hop on top of whatever columns, get on top of whatever columns you want, and try, try, try again to actually make it onto the spinning, rotating, weird circle stuff in the middle of the map here. I mean, we can just go over and fly over there. I'm not sure if actually you can do this on a Hunter and a Warlock, but we're definitely doing it on Titan. I'm sure there's tons of handicaps down here other than these two columns to actually make it up the side of this cool, cool thing. Unfortunately, my teammates called me in before I could figure out if you can actually hit a death barrier or if this just takes you up to the top of the map. My teammates called me in, so I can't figure it out, but you guys can. Go glitch out of this map. Go figure out what happens when you do this and go have fun. And I'll see you guardians in the next one. Thanks for watching.